Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my August 2023 uh, book haul. Dane reads. So I got this one book in the post today. This is uh, edited by Bill Morgan, and this is by, I guess, Alan Ginsberg and Lawrence Fulinghetti. I greet you at the beginning of a great career. The selected correspondence of Lawrence Fulinghetti and Alan Ginsberg, 1955 to 1997. Um, so this will be interesting. Ginsberg's one of my favorite poets. Phil and Getty is a very influential man. He's still alive as well, and he's fucking old. Hey Google, how old is Lawrence Phil and Getty? Lawrence Phil and Getty was 101 years old when he died in 2021. What? People also asked me, what is Lawrence Phil and Getty most famous poem? Oh, Want to hear the answer? No, that's really sad. I didn't know he was dead. Oh, well, yeah, he was. I mean, he was I don't old. Understand. Yes, I know you don't understand. But yes. Uh, I got that book in the post, so I'm looking forward to getting to that soon. All right, guys, well, I assume I've done an in in introduction to this haul, but if not, hello, everybody, and welcome to my August 2023 book haul. I have a book to show you. This is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Uh, this was given to me by my beautiful girlfriend, Shay, who has just finished reading it. Uh, it's like a prequel, yeah, set 17 years before the events of The Hate You Give. And um, I'm looking forward to reading it. I've heard good things about it, and um, I enjoyed the hate you give. It was one of the few booktube cl sort of classics or whatever that didn't disappoint me. So, get to that soon. All right, hello everybody. I have a ton of books. I went to visit my mum in Tamworth. We'll start with this one because she'd actually got this one for me and and um, gave it to me. So this is what Eleanor Clark, the Little Book of Veganism. Um, so, very excited to read that. I'm going to give it to Shay afterwards because Shay is a new vegan. Um, I've been vegan for years, so I don't know how much in that little book is actually going to be particularly relevant to me. Um, and then I went around the charity shops. I'm going to show you a bunch of these in a bit because I've got all of these little, um, I don't know what you'd call them, what are they, like penguin mini classics or something. I didn't get the full series, but I got a good chunk of them. Um, but other stuff that I got, so we've got uh, Raise High the Roof Beam Carpenters and Seymour An Introduction by J.D. Salinger. Um, no idea, but it, I, I enjoyed um, Catching the Rye. Uh, we have Herman Hesse, uh, Nazis and Goldmund. Um, so funnily enough, Herman Hesse, the main thing I have to say about him, I've read a few of his books. Someone on TikTok corrected me because I was calling him Herman Hess. But before that, I'd been calling him Herman Hesse, and somebody on YouTube said, no, it's pronounced Hess. So the guy on TikTok was German, so we're going with Hesse. Uh, so Nazis and Nazis and Goldman, I don't have a clue what it's about. I just know it's Hesse, and um, I've enjoyed the four or so books of his that I've read so far. Um, and then Pincher Martin by William Golding again. Um, it's his third novel apparently. There's no blurb or anything to it, um, but I've read two or three uh, Golding novels now, so slowly getting through them. Okay, so I'm just going to work through all these because there are so many. Um, I've got. I've got Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna. More crime. I do like Sophie Hanna. Um, this is known. I've read quite a few of her books recently. We've got The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So Matt Haig is a relatively new author to me. Obviously, he's been on the scene a lot. Um, he's one of my girlfriend's favourite authors. And I've read The Humans and another one of his books that I can't remember and really enjoyed. So looking forward to picking this up. We have Aldous Huxley after many a summer. Huxley, just one of those authors I want to read everything um, that they ever wrote. So it sounds like a novel. Hmm, interesting. We have Edward Lorne, Everything is Horrible Now. Um, so my girlfriend and I are reading as much uh, Edward Lorne as we can get our hands on. I don't think it's actually published anymore. He now has his YouTube channel, it's called Church of the Chair. Edward Lorne, fantastic author, um, another of Shay's favorites. She'll actually read to this first, and then I'll pick it up afterwards. Susan Hill, The Vows of Silence. Um, another Simon Sorelle, or Sorelle, I don't know how to pronounce his surname. Uh, it's one of her crime series anyway. Um, I've been reading these. Herman Hesse again, we have Gertrude. Interesting, that sounds good. I'm not going to bother reading that out. <laughs> William Golding, Close Quarters. Again, more Golding. William Golding, Free Fall. Going back to Susan Hill, Howard's End is on the landing. I've never actually read Howard's End. Um, this, I, from what I understand, is like non-fiction uh, non about her own love of reading, so it could be interesting. Ray Bradbury, Death is a Lonely Business. Again, Ray Bradbury, one of those authors I'm trying to get through. Most of these, to be honest, are authors on my completionist list. Uh, Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Pretty sure I haven't read that. I know it's one of his most famous ones. We've got J.G. Ballard, The Day of Creation. Um, doesn't have a blurb. Again, Ballard at the height of his powers by the New Statesman quote there. 
Herman Hesse, uh, Klingsaw's Last Summer. And then William Golding, The Spire. So those are all of the biggie ones. And then we can move on to these little mini penguins. So I've got a little stack of them here. So we have uh, Rudyard Kipling, Barbar Bar Black Sheep. Robert Louis Stevenson, The Pavilion on the Lynx. Richard Elman, The Trial of Oscar Wilde. He's the only one who I actually bought that because it's about Oscar Wilde rather than because of the, uh, the author. The rest of these are all authors I want to learn more about or read more by. Oscar Wilde, The Happy Prince. James Baldwin, Sonny's Blues. And Franz Kafka, The Judgment and In the Penal Colony. So a big old bunch of books there to read through. Let's top my shelves back up nicely, that. Alrighty guys, well those were all of the books that I received in the month of August 2023. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yes, I have paint in my hair. I've been painting the house.